A 15 year old murdered in Little Rock after a prank when a man fires his gun into a car full of seven teenagers. Good evening, I'm Suzanne Bruner. Glad you can join us tonight. Fox 16's Josh Berry has been following this story and joins us live in the studio. And Josh, these kids never thought this would happen when they set out to do this. Yeah, Suzanne, they did. Many people, in fact, have questions why these teens were out so late in the first place. In fact, according to police, doing something illegal, vandalizing a car. But police say that's not the focus of the investigation right now, with a 15-year-old dead and a 48-year-old man facing first-degree murder charges. Police say Willie Noble shot multiple times at a car, pulling away, ultimately killing one person. But those shots Welton Alexander heard just before one Saturday morning didn't surprise him. Sometimes you hear some shots in the park, yeah. Right. Little did he know at the time those shots were much different as his neighbor from just down the street, 48-year-old Willie Noble, now faces first-degree murder charges and the death of a 15-year-old girl. They said it was him this morning, and I was just, I was just amazing. Little Rock police say it may have all started with a prank. This is an ongoing friendly feud between teenagers. This time, things took an unfriendly turn when Noble heard noises in front of his South Little Rock home and came out to find his car vandalized. And there was toilet paper on the vehicle, a bag of leaves, some eggs, and mayonnaise had been thrown on the vehicle. And police say a car full of seven teenagers, including Adrian Broadway, sitting in the front seat, tried to get away. At that point, he came out of the residence and fired multiple shots at the suspects as they fled the residence. Police found the teenagers and the car with bullet holes in the side at the come and go down the street. Inside, 15-year-old Adrian Broadway unresponsive with a gunshot wound to the head. She died shortly after at Children's Hospital. When those kids left to go out and do this, they did by no means that any one of them think that this was going to be a, a horrible event. They thought that they would... Although be uh, a mischievous thing, they didn't think that it would end up being a deadly, a deadly prank, and this ultimately ended up being the uh, a deadly event. Now, police say the other kids in the car went, uh, were unharmed, with the exception of the driver who had cuts from the broken window glass. Noble faces a charge of terroristic act for that injury. He also faces five counts of aggravated assault for the other kids in the car, and one of first-degree murder for the death of Adrian Broadway. Suzanne, back to you. Josh, now this is just a sad situation for everyone involved here. Now, the young girl, Adrian, do we know anything about her at this time? We do, of course. Again, she's a 15-year-old girl. I got a chance to speak with a couple of relatives, the, the grandfather and her mother, and, you know, they were just telling me that she was just your typical teenager, full of life, a, a joy to be around, and just loved everything, you know, everything about life, Suzanne. Yeah, she looks like a sweet girl. Thanks so much, Josh.